Welcome back everybody. My name's Damien and this is Grandpa's Lake House and today we're testing our soil. We're excited, the cucumbers are doing really well. They seem to really like being on this fence. They're spreading out well. About once a day I just come in and make sure they're spreading out. Lots and lots of flowers. I don't see any cucumbers forming yet, but I can see. So from underneath. You see you're just spreading everything out, weaving it in through the fence. So far this is uh, doing really well, really happy with it. Oh look, there's we got a cucumber right there. Another little one. The mustard just continues to get attacked. I believe by birds, but I have caught some squirrels in here. Here's our pumpkin. Something's definitely been getting to that. I'm shocked that it's still alive up there. I'm not sure if you can see down here, but the stock seems to basically be dead. Found it the other day with basically looked like a chunk brought out of it. Um, got a lot of dead leaves. So we're hopeful for our the uh, pumpkin, but we'll see how that turns out. Our cherry tomatoes are fruiting all over the place. A tiny one up here, but nice little bundle here. Behind it, got our watermelon just spreading out everywhere. Something maybe some of you guys may have some information on. Notice our corn is really low to the ground and seems to be getting eaten up by something. Look at that. Little tiny baby little corn. So something's in here eating at these. I would think the only thing that can get in here is the squirrel, but I didn't think corn should sprout this close to the ground. So I'm not sure if it's maybe it's the breed of corn or just something else we did wrong in our garden this year. So but we'll continue to let this go to see what happens. Um, looking at this now, I'm wondering if this just all went to corn way too early and if there's anything I could do to save it. So go ahead and leave a comment below if you have any information on what you think would be best. So a lot of you have been asking about different things about our soil and uh, Rec making recommendations on doing a soil test kit. So today we went ahead and got a soil test kit. So we'll go through that today. I'm gonna test a couple different areas just to see what our results come out. So we'll see how the results come out. I have a feeling we're gonna see something being too high in our soil um, that could cause burning and other things. So very curious to see how this comes out. So let's go ahead and get this kit out and we'll see what we come up with. So we picked up this rapid test, uh, soil test kit, uh, test for pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, potash. Uh, so let's see, we'll open this up and see if we can find anything wrong with our soil. So very straightforward kit. Everything's color coordinated. It's very simple. You'll just fill some soil into here. You break open these tablets and add those and then use the dropper to add some water and so it also comes with a nice little packet that tells you what you should be looking for um, for your ph and everything for your different type of plants 
So this should hopefully come in quite handy for us. So we'll start with our pH test kit. We've got a small line. Come here, bud. No, no, come here. Come over here. We've got a small line on here that will fill our soil too, and then upper here with the water. So we'll start with our soil. some dirt in here. So it looks like we have really seen everything kind of clear up. It looks like we're about even with adequate here. I'd say there's a surplus of phosphorus. That's really dark. Um, deficiency of nitrogen, which I am quite surprised at because the place where we got this soil um, their claim to fame was how high, the, how good their nitrogen was. And it looks like we're just light of neutral on our pH. So let's take a look a little closer. But yeah, really it's the, uh, seems like our nitrogen's just a little deficient. We'll see what we can do to add some nitrogen to everything and uh, hopefully that gives us some good turnaround. So just for giggles, I went ahead and ran the test again on our native soil here. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the native soil turns out. So somewhat like expected, uh, our native soil here would have taken a lot of work to be able to grow in. Uh, looks like we're deficient on nitrogen, we're deficient on phosphorus, uh, we're slightly acidic in our pH. Uh, it looks like our potash would be in adequate or sufficient range, a little more to the sufficient, maybe leaning towards surplus. Uh, so it would have taken a lot of work for this soil to be able to uh, create any kind of actual harvest off of it, not to mention it is full of rocks. So as you can see, our soil content in our native soil is very rocky and hard, um, very high clay content. And so I think we made the right decision with going with potted plants and raised beds, um, but we do have some work on our soil to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next one.